Howdy folks! So this is going to be another scattering tutorial and we're going to be working on the same canopy shape. We're going to be doing a bush and same leaves, but instead of particles we're going to approach this with duplifaces. So this is my favorite technique for if you need to scatter something on like a relatively large area and it needs to be like pretty even and non not penetrating and stuff like that. So step one, create a plane. And I'm eventually going to wrap this around the object that I am like wanting to scatter onto. So I'm going to just kind of make it an appropriate shape for that. That's sort of what's motivating how big of a square. Um, how big you make the square could also be motivated by like your repetition, uh, like how big, yeah, maybe I'll make it like this big, honestly, like how, how unique you want it to be, stuff like that. So step one, I need a plane. I am going to control three to add the subdiv, but I want it to be simple. I'm going to apply that. Um, point is I need these uh, faces so that I'm, I'm able to deform around another surface. The next thing I need is a singular face. So I'm going to duplicate, duplicate this off, hit P, selection. So this is now a separate object. This is actually going to be my duplicate base. So what I'm going to do is name this. So leave a I'm just going to call it base. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Take leaf A, parent it under this object, keep transform. And then under this little mesh tab, there is, I lied, uh, it's under the object tab. So object tab, instancing, by default, obviously none. If I set it to faces, what it's going to do is now at the center of all of the faces, so if I were to cut this in half, it would give me two. At the center of each of these faces, I will get this leaf. And I don't actually need this one anymore because um, I have this one to show for it. So if I just move this over, I can get a better idea. I'm going to duplicate this again. Leaf B base. Take leaf B. Uh, in this case, I, there's multiple things in my viewport, so I'm just going to do the outliner, control, click on that one, alt P, uh, sorry, my bad, control P, object, keep transform. Um, now this one is leaf B. I'm just going to move it to the side so it's not in the same spot. Same deal. So this one I can hide now that that's dealt with. Take leaf B base, duplicate leaf C base, and I'm just going to preemptively move it this time so I don't get briefly confused. Select leaf C, select leaf C, control, select the leaf C base, control P, object, keep transform. Now I can hide this. So now that I have this set up, I suggest going from a top view and my, my viewport locked there for a moment there. What I suggest is just going from top view and there's a few rules about uh, how you should move these dupla faces around. So first thing, don't combine two different dupla faces, otherwise you will lose the parenting of one because what's, yeah, what's allowing them to spawn the object is specifically the object that is parented under it. And if you combine two, obviously you can't have two different objects parented to the same object, but like separately, that doesn't really work. So you have to keep them separate. Long-winded way to say you have to keep them separate. Second thing, because of the nature of how we're going to apply this wrap to the base of the canopy, when you are orienting, like if you want to rotate this leaf, I do not recommend rotating this just yet. That should be more of a final step. The reason why you want to create these vari varieties of leaf in this case is like you want to have those poses kind of like pre-built into it, so to speak. Um, and really all you want to be doing is rotating in Z. So I'm just going to duplicate um, a few of these. I think what I'm going to do actually is I'll add an array and I'm going to just snap this to the edge here and I'm just going to quickly turn on this so I can see where this is going. And I'm just going to snap this to this edge just so I kind of have like an even distribution to go from. And then I'm going to take off relative offset, turn on constant. And oh yeah, no, that's perfect actually because I did this basically one meter apart. That's cool. 
Uh, so that should be fine. So if I duplicate this, instead of one meter up, it could be one minus one meter down. Okay, so that's roughly the same. That's good. Now that I have uh, this array set up for this guy, select this one, this one, and shift select the last one. So, uh, control C, copy modifiers. Um, if you have the copy attributes add-on enabled, this will allow you just to quickly copy it. And yeah, the reason why I want to do that is now I can move this and rotate around as I need. The whole point of using the array is just so you don't have to do this as, as many times. Um, unfortunately, you do need to be in object mode to see your duplications, but that's not such a huge deal. So I recommend just take, duplicating a few, kind of posing them in a way that looks kind of cute. But this really allows you to like pose specific shapes and pose, you know, poses, this pose specific poses. Very good sentence. Um, but it allows you to like, you know, orient your leaves in a really particular way, but still cover a large area relatively easily. That's kind of the big benefit for this. So, and also duplicating allows us to see kind of where the redundancies and gaps are happening um, when they will be uh, duplicated a lot. I recommend going a little over the line too in some areas just so it's like a little bit more interesting uh, to look at. Like for example, I know this is going to keep duplicating down. I'm kind of looking like how these meet. Uh, if it helps too, you can always do like one extra one just to kind of get an idea of like how that's going to duplicate. But that's looking pretty good, honestly. I'm not too bothered. Like that's not a bad, that's not a bad base. Let's just add one, one more leafy. I feel like I just need one more like right here. And we just kind of want to check it out from here a little bit. Yeah, they're mostly sticking straight up. That's not a big deal. Can fix that later. Okay, so step one was creating the space. Step two, setting up these dupla faces. Step three was posing them. Now step four, we're going to start binding and moving this stuff together. So select this first one. Got to be on the base. That's like the dupla face base for it to work. I'm just going to name this too so I can um, so it's more obvious when I'm picking it to. And then I want to do uh, surface deform. I want to select my wrap base. I want to say bind. That's not, yep, there we go. Bind, surface deform, wrap base, bind. Okay, what that will allow us to do is now if I put simple deform on this guy. Now it's actually going to deform with it and it's going to be able to curve around an object. Whereas like if this was shrink wrapped or something, it wouldn't work as well. So let's go with bend and see what kind of result we get. Cool. All right. So bend is being a jerk. All right. So that's fine. This is the same deal uh, that I mentioned in my basket video where everything is just off by 90 degrees. So let's just select this whole thing change it to 3D cursor, so I'm in the middle, rotate on uh, X, yeah, minus one, actually, minus 90, is it, or is it 90? Yeah, it's 90. Okay, so yeah, all right, that, never mind, it's fine. Okay, that worked out. Um, anyway, continuing on. So now, okay, now when I bend, it's actually going to go around correctly. That's what I want. Um, we're sort of at a funny angle here, but that's okay. Just negative 90, bring it back. And then duplicate this guy. But instead of Y, let's just disable that so it's a little easier to see. We want X. Yeah, cool. So that will allow us to basically wrap it into a sphere shape. It's probably a bit intense. Like I probably wanted to go like, I'll just go 50 and 50 for now. I can turn off wireframe. I don't really need to see that anymore. And now I can turn back on the canopy and we want to do a save. And what you're going to want to do is make a duplicate of this. So I recommend basically putting these here into one collection. And I recommend actually duplicating the entire collection and just hiding that because you always want to have one that's like your live active version. Actually, before I duplicate this, another thing that's nice to have is because if you'll notice if I move this, 
Like if I move it in edit mode, everything moves together, but then you see how the transforms are getting all jacked up. That's because the pivot point is now offset from the center. So there's like an additional transform happening on top of the move just because of the way the simple deform works. Don't like that. Instead, select the leaves collection, shift S, cursor of world origin if it's not already, shift A, empty, plain axis, and just select each of these guys, parent under that, and then when you move it around, move the null instead, then it's okay. So here we can duplicate collection, uh, and I usually do like, I'll keep like a master group, and I just sort of leave that intentionally like undeformed and unapplied in case you ever need to go back to it. And then from here, now I don't need this set to 3D anymore, it can be set to median. From here, I can start to actually deform these closer to the sphere. So let's increase this a bit. We want to try and get as close as we can before we apply it and just sort of do this, maybe rotate this this way a little bit. And then from here, we can take it a step further on top of simple deform, shrink wrap, select this object, and then it'll just like get it, get it that extra little distance, just snap that extra little way, looks nice. Uh, just keep in mind that these leaves underneath uh, are showing again. So if you just see these like giant leaves out of nowhere, you can just, uh, I was gonna say you could move it, but you, you definitely can't. Um, it's best just to like put that in a different collection and hide it. Because, yeah, they're they're still connected to the duplifaces. So if you disable it in render or something like that, it's going to affect the duplifaces also. So it's best just to like, hide for now. So that's working pretty good. Take this. Duplicate collection. And then I don't want to see the shrink wrap for now. I just want to see what it's going to look like transforming it uh, without it. Because otherwise it might distort it quite a bit. And um, I probably need to cut this in half. I said this was going to be a bush, but I'm just going to wrap a little bit more under, uh, just so it's a little bit easier to deal with. I'm not too concerned about this stuff, because I'm probably just going to delete most of those leaves. Again, this is sort of like a halfway between... Well, this isn't really an automatic solution, it's mostly manual, but... Okay, shrink wrap that. Duplicate. Same deal. Select it. Disable. And I'm just going to move this. I grabbed the wrong one. Move this over. As long as it's roughly in place, you can always tweak it later too. It's easier. Enable. And then I'll probably do two more uh, blobs of these. So let's take this guy. Duplicate. Uh, which collection did I just duplicate? Okay, so probably this one. Yep. So we'll take this wrap base and disable the shrink wrap again. Move this over. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then turn that on, just kind of see how that's fitting. And then one last time. So we'll take this top one, duplicate, which makes this one. This is part of the top one, this guy. Okay, so we have these mostly set up. That's the next step. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now, what we can do, since we now have multiple objects that are spawning the same one, we can, un okay, I recommend just fully opening and collapsing these just so it's easier to see. There we go. This is more just like a cleanup step, but I like doing this just so it's easier. Save again, just so, you know, always, always be saving. Leaf B, leaf B, 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 B. I just want to see. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, wrap base before I, uh, convert those, we're just going to convert these to object mesh, right? I don't really, uh, yeah, I need I need to apply the surf surface to form of pretty much all of these. So, uh, mm, yeah, okay. Applying them all at once is the easiest thing. So just select all the leaf bases. 
again for applying these it's just object convert mesh so that's just going to apply all the modifiers at the same time now we can select these bees join uh you'll notice the location of the leaf popped because uh, now it's like using a different one as the base but even though the leaves didn't change that's fine it doesn't really matter c join and a join okay so delete hierarchy delete hierarchy delete delete okay so we only need this one and we don't need this wrap base okay so now we have three different kinds of leaves nicely set up so to return the fact that i want to make this a bush just grab these delete the faces on the bottom faces faces okay and we want to take each of these once again and let's take let's take actually this guy and just take this out of the group out of the collection so it's a little bit easier we can just hide the collection okay so that's a lot more cleaned up that's a lot better uh from here that's basically similar thing you can either convert these from dupliface insta into instances but since they are dupliface it's a lot easier if we go shrink wrap select this and then copy that modifier to the other ones just to get that going and now when you move it around you can rotate um, to just add some more variety the one thing I will say is it's a little bit trickier to edit just because you do have to keep them separate but at the same time there's not as much to edit because it, it was mostly set up like this is a lot less cleanup it's like a little more setup but then a lot less cleanup. Um, the only thing is scaling won't really work. Well, that's something that would have to be modified after it's applied. But the nice thing at least is um, as long as you have this enable edit mode on, you can bring this wherever and you'll still snap to the surface. So that's like saves a bit of time. Uh, again, sometimes deleting is just easier. That's why it's kind of nice to go above instead of under because then you have to move stuff around more than what, what might be nice to do. But yeah, that's already like not bad. That took less time to fix, more time, well, similar time to set up. The thing is too, is like once you've got one patch set up, you can just keep reusing it. So I would argue there's like a little bit more work at the start, but then once you have it set up, it's it's a lot easier to work with. Yeah, you just get rid of some of those. That's going. Okay, so that's in a pretty good spot. Save again. Um, now, so let's say you want to apply these. Uh, oopsie. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, just move that over, I guess. Um, very interesting. Okay, might be because the shrink wrap. Probably, yeah. Uh, let's just do mesh again, so it's just applied and collapsed down and stuff. Okay, so those are all looking pretty good for penetrations. Now, if I want to convert these, they're still duplifaces, so say I want to convert them into instances now. Um, I'm going to put this in a new collection, and I'm going to object, apply, make instances real. And that's essentially the same thing that the particle was doing. So now they're just individual pieces. They're still connected. They're still mesh instances, so you can still edit one. But now I can edit the scale. So you would just kind of go, if you did want to tweak the scale individually, you would just kind of go over it one more time. But now that everything is is disconnected, this leaf base, I'm just going to put that under here. Uh, and put this under leaves three, I think. <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember. Uh, cool. We'll just call it that. But yeah, now we're essentially in the same location as we were for the particles. It's just a slightly different way of getting there. A little more manual. If you don't want to tweak around with all those random transforms, uh, gives you a lot more control over like what your initial scattering looks like. Um, I think this result is probably a little bit nicer. And I, I just like, I'm just in favor of things that give you more control, but are easier. And then it's also easier to at the end just to quickly delete individual things. I can also edit them as a group. Um, I don't need to be in specific objects anymore because they're no longer duplifaces. So just kind of consider 
what edits you want to make and what kind of mode would be best for it, but that worked pretty well. And then from here, you could collapse, uh, join them. They still have the simple deforms on them, so if you want to make further tweaks, you can. Uh, but that is how I would duplicate or scatter uh, leaves using duplifaces. Um, if you like what I did, like and subscribe, and goodbye!